वेलकम अगेन हाय आई एम अनुज वेलकम टू माय चैनल ऑर्गेनिक एंड हाइड्रोपोनिक अर्बन ग्रो प्रो इफ यू आर विजिटिंग फर्स्ट टाइम टू माय चैनल एंड हैवन सब्सक्राइब यट देन प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब ओवर हियर एंड कीप योर बेल नोटिफिकेशन बटन ऑन सो एज नॉट टू मिस आउट एनी ऑफ द न्यू अपलोड ऑन हाउ टू ग्रो वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड एंड इफ यू फाइंड दिस वीडियो इंटरेस्टिंग एंड यूजफुल देन गिव मी अर लाइक also share it with the like minded people express your view in a comment box and feel free to give any suggestions to improve let's watch the video don't forget to subscribe in this video we'll look at how to prune the fig plant for upcoming summer season fig has a tendency to set a fruit on the new growth so what we'll try to do keep the maximum of new growth on the fig plant and at the same time we'll try to maintain the structure so let's see how to do it practically this is our fig tree which is 3 year old now and you can see that it has already started fruiting since last season we are planning to prune this for the next fruiting season now for pruning what we are using the tool are this a uh, looper a uh, one hexo then the shear and we will require a hand gloves hand gloves are important into the fig tree pruning because the sap milky sap is a poisonous sap so we'll use a hand gloves in this now we'll see how to prune now first we'll see we don't want any stems coming out from the base so we'll keep bottom 1 to 1 and 1/2 feet clear from any of the shoots so we'll remove all the shoots from the bottom so this all the small you can cut with the shear if something is big we can use the looper and if it is too big then we can use the shear so now we have clean all those from the all the sprouts now if you see we have done prune it previously to make the structure now we don't want any stem to be longer than 2 foot so we are cutting all the stem longer than 3 feet this looper is approximately 2 feet so we are removing all these things higher than 2 feet this is important to keep the plant low now this is the stem this is the primary branches these are the secondary branches and from all the secondary branches we will keep a third tertiary branches for the fruiting now important thing is we can cut all the tertiary branches to a single node so even it is a, if you can see that fig is already there but we don't require this fig as of now we will keep one node and cut it same on this this is going to cut this is going to cut so we'll have a tertiary branches and we'll allow only four tertiary branches to develop from each secondary 
any branches coming on the bottom will be removing any branches less than pencil size also to be removed from the root so you are removing all these unnecessary branches now here is the primary these are the secondary on secondary there is a three good shoot we can keep four we can remove this this is overlapping okay this we can develop because it is filling the space so we'll make this stronger by keeping one node right these are again the long branches will be cutting this So after cutting all the secondary branches to the side, the plant is looking like this. Now we will put only one eyes on the all tertiary branches to induce the floating branches. So this is one node, this is one node, this itself is this, one node, one node. This is one node. Now we'll perform the same on this. This is going down, it is not useful. So this is how our plant is going to look once we complete the pruning. Now within 15 to 20 days the new shoot will arrive and we will have another round of pruning and thinning at that time and we will make a separate video for that.